alliums are really wonderful in May in this garden. This is the Ace Garden, and they look fabulous. Purple Sensation and Allium Hollandicum, which is a species that when Purple Sensation self-seeds, it reverts to. But it's beautiful too, it's just slightly paler mauve than Purple Sensation. But by August, I personally don't really like seeing the seed pods in the garden because it makes it feel rather autumnal. And I don't want it to feel <laughs> autumnal in July. I want it to still be full of juice and colour. And so um, I'm just going to remove all these from the border but they don't go on the compost heap. What we do is that we store them for a couple of weeks in the little barn over there so they dry out properly and then in about a month's time I can then spray them silver to add to the Christmas tree and they look fabulous. This one is Purple Sensation which is the smallest but in uh, June you get Christophii which is a bit bigger which also dries brilliantly and Schubertii which is huge which I'll show you in a minute which also sprays fantastically and that is the best of all alliums to go on the top of your Christmas tree. And these are the ones that we've picked already and you can see that they're still a bit green but um, soon, once they've lost all the green, they're completely dry like that one and then they're perfectly ready for spraying. And actually while we're in here, we've also got nigella pods waiting to dry. So again, they're beautiful made into chains for a Christmas tree. You can just put wire through them. Again, I can show you how to do that and you get these beautiful chains for a Christmas tree. And then for big decorations, we use um, this, which is Angelica. And they shed their seeds, but you then get left with these beautiful uh, sort of globe-like spheres of stems. And those look fantastic sprayed too. This one is the crowning glory of all alliums. I mean, it's just massive, and you can imagine that sprayed silver on top of the Christmas tree. Um, and it's perfect to harvest it either now or even when it's a little bit dry, but don't leave it too late, because you can imagine once you get the winds in the autumn, they just get blown away and get smashed really easily. So pick them when they've still got a bit of greenness and juice to them, and just hang them upside down in a barn somewhere or in your potting shed and then they'll be ready for Christmas. So to spray them you want to work outside because you don't want to inhale um, the, the chemicals from the paint and so I just put them on a big outside table with lots of newspaper all around put on either a black dustbin bag or an apron that you don't mind getting a bit of silver paint on and then and then literally just spray them and I put them all out like that, spray them, allow them to dry for half an hour turn them around, spray them again, allow them to dry for half an hour, turn them around, and that should then really coat them pretty evenly. Um, and that's it. Then you just leave them and then they're perfect on the Christmas tree. The reason I love them so much is that, um, you know the stuff you get, that sort of silver rain stuff that gives you the three-dimensionality of a Christmas tree. So if you just have your baubles on the end of the Christmas tree stems or even halfway down, you get something that's almost just like a, a, a pyramid or a triangle. Whereas if you add the alliums actually sort of throwing them into the centre of the tree, you then realise the, the beauty and the three-dimensionality of the whole thing. And alliums are the best possible thing for that, both little and massive like this.